Oh, what a beautiful spring day out here on the turf field. Eric Swallow, the spring season is happening, so it looks like all the teams have been pretty successful. Yeah, we're right about the middle of the season right now, and baseball and softball have gotten off to great starts. Uh, they're currently moving forward, and they're, they're both actually been ranked by the Hartford Current in the top 10 uh, in the state of Connecticut, which is a great compliment to, to the coaching staff and to the student athletes. Uh, boys volleyball. Boys volleyball has a big match today against Glastonbury. Glastonbury, I think, is currently ranked number one in the state, and uh, Southington is number four. So that match is going on this afternoon around 5 o'clock over in Glastonbury. Uh, boys golf. Uh, Jim Dinello uh, just uh, accomplished 125 wins uh, as the golf coach. Uh, that's a great personal accomplishment as a coach, and that program has been moving forward and has, and has had great success. They, they actually defeated Farmington last week, which is the first time Southington has defeated Farmington. Uh, the tennis programs, uh, boys and girls tennis, both are getting off to winning starts and winning records. Uh, and they've begun their conference play now in the CCC. Track and field, boys track, they continue in an undefeated, undefeated um, season. Uh, they defeated Farmington yesterday. The girls have continued to uh, flourish in terms of individual um, qualifiers for the state tournament. Um, so all in all, it's been a great spring season thus far. And um, we're looking forward to uh, continuing through the season and getting ready for the state tournament. And it looks like the turf field's been extra busy, busy, and it's and it's really helping out the uh, community. Yeah, it really has. I think that uh, this weekend, in fact, uh, the Girls Lacrosse Association has their big lacrosse jamboree, and they'll be utilizing almost the entire facility, including the turf, and as well as on Sunday, Parks and Rec Lacrosse will be using the facility as well. Unified Sports. There is a major track event coming up on May 19th where there'll probably be at least 10 to 12 different schools from around the state that come up here and they compete in a unified sports uh, track and field competition. So the turf is operational. It's almost seven days a week now. Uh, and the, the only thing that, that's important for everyone to know in the general public is that during school hours, the track is not accessible, uh, as well as after school during practice or game competitions, the track is not accessible. But all other times, uh, it is open to the general public use. So anybody can come up, throw a football around, kick a soccer ball, whatever yeah, you want to do. if there's no organized activity, it's an open community facility. And, and like we've tried to emphasize through the entire year, since the facility's been in place, the track and the surface is open to general public use, other than the fact when there is a uh, assigned activity. That's terrific. It's a great time to live in Southington. Eric, thanks a bunch. Thank you.